Hello, this is Geo. Hey, look what we have here. We have a brand new iPad. And this one's actually the eighth generation iPad, but um, most of them are very similar. And what we're going to do today is set this thing up. So let's just start by opening up the box. And the first thing you see is the iPad itself. And then you have the USB power adapter and the USB lightning cable. You'll also find a little packet filled with some documentation, some stickers, etc. So getting back to the iPad, let's do the funnest activity of them all, peeling off the plastic protective cover. So all new iPads should have at least somewhat of a charge in them. And so just go ahead and hit the button up on top Hold it down until you see the Apple symbol. So after a few moments, you'll see an introductory hello screen in several different languages. Then you'll be directed to press the home button to open the main app. The home button is on the bottom center of the iPad. So the first screen is asking you which language you prefer the iPad to display. So go ahead and make that selection. Next, it's asking you which country you're from. And then you'll see a quick start page. You could either use an existing iPhone or iPad to set up your system, or you can do it manually, which we'll do here. And then it's asking you to choose a Wi-Fi network. Go ahead and make your selection and log in normally. and then hit next. You'll then get a page notifying you that it may take a few minutes to activate your iPad and then you'll get a data and privacy page where you can either learn more or just hit continue. So here you'll be setting up your home button to recognize your fingerprint. So here your iPad will ask you to depress either a thumb or fingerprint on the home button several times until it recognizes it and records your fingerprint. Then it asks you to adjust your grip and do it all over again, but this time trying to get the sides of your finger. Next, it asks you to enter a unique six digit numeric passcode. There's also other options where you can customize the passcode but here I'm just entering a six digit passcode. It asks you to enter it twice. You will need to remember this passcode since it will provide access to your iPad in addition to the fingerprint recognition. Now, if you're replacing your iPad, you may want to restore or transfer your old data to your new iPad. Here, you can make the selection of how you want to do that. For this example, we're just going to hit Don't Transfer Apps and Data. So the next page is asking you for your Apple ID so you can use the iCloud, the App Store, or other Apple services. Now if you have an existing Apple ID for an iPhone or an older iPad, just go ahead and re-enter your old Apple ID here. If you don't have an Apple ID, you'll need to set one up by hitting Forget Password or Don't Have an Apple ID on the bottom. 
It will then send you an Apple ID verification code either through a text phone number or an email that it has on file. Go ahead and look that up and enter the code it sends you. And of course you need to know the terms and conditions for using your iPad. Just go ahead and review the information provided and hit agree. So the next screen is asking you for settings. You could either use Express Settings where it just sets up some standard settings for your iPad or you can customize your settings. For this example, we'll just hit Express Settings, Continue. And the next screen is just informing you about periodic updates. Just hit Continue. And here you can use a credit card or debit card to set up Apple Pay, which you can use to pay for different apps or services. For this example, we'll just set up later. The next screen tells you about iCloud Keychain, which is an encryption tool to help secure passwords and credit card information. For this example, we'll just hit continue. So next, if you want to set up Siri, which is a voice recognition software, you first have to record a number of phrases using your own voice so it can recognize how you speak. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, send a message. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, play some music. When Siri is ready, hit continue. Here you're being asked to allow Apple to store some audio recordings associated with Siri and dictation. This stored data is not associated with your Apple ID. You could either select Share Data or Not Now. If your iPad is used by children, you may want to set up screen time limitations. For this example, we'll just hit Set Up Later. And again, this screen is asking you to share app analytic data to help improve apps that you use. You could either select to share the data or not to share. Now we're setting up the appearance of your iPad screen. You could either select a dark appearance or a light appearance. It's your preference. And you're done with the basic setup of your iPad. Welcome to iPad. Go ahead and hit Get Started to start using your iPad. And here you'll find that your iPad is already preloaded with many useful apps. You can also go ahead and hit the Settings app and change some basic settings in your iPad or just explore some of your other iPad app options. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video and have found it useful. And if you have, please hit that like button at the bottom of the screen and even consider subscribing to my channel. I have many more videos to come. Bye-bye.